Hello, guys. We made it to the finale. Yo, buffet too. Yo, guys. How are you feeling since we're in the finale? Yo, wait, let me wait for a few more people to join. We have to celebrate together. We have to celebrate together, guys. Yo, my heart. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Please, please, let's keep on voting, guys. Okay, I just want to say thank you to all of you who have been voting for Ume Junior, guys. Thank you, thank you so much. We are so grateful. As family, friends, close friends of his, we are so grateful. McFall's family, like, yo, guys, I don't know. I don't know what to say even. Thank you so much, and keep on pushing, keep on voting. This is... Yo, guys, he wasn't even in the bottom three. He never smelled that bottom three. Don't let him smell it now. So please keep on voting. And don't forget to follow his socials, official socials as well. As you can see, was I'm wearing t-shirts. This is the bag. Can you guys see the bag? Milk Force for Milk Junior. And then we have the socials here. Yo, oh, guys, please keep on voting. Ninga Pelelo Amanda, guys, keep on voting until until the end. Vote until the end. Vote until those voting polls close. Yeah, we're almost at the end. Please, guys, please. Yo, thank you so much. We are so grateful. I just came on here. This is going to be a short live. I just came to say thank you. We are so grateful. Yeah, keep on voting, guys. Keep on voting. Whatever you're doing, it's working. Get more SIM cards, IUCs, and votes. Please. Please. Yo, guys, I'm so happy. I can see most. You guys are so happy as well. Yo, McForce, we love you. We love you so much, guys. This is a short live, okay? So, yeah, I'll see you next time. If I do go on a live again. Yeah, thank you so much. Hey, babies. What's up, my darling MVPs? And how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shosley Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see the heart. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fast, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on your notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the hearts. So, guys, hmm, Omo, we know it's the finale and every gist, every news is about how things are going, how who is voting for who and who is not voting for who. So, this pool right here came out and people were so surprised that Mark Jr. was stopping. Meanwhile, I for one, I barely believe in all of this pool, you know. But ever since this season started, like ever since this year, my season started, this pool has always been right. And the housemate that we're going home, it has always been the one on the bottom of this list. Like every time I see this list and see the housemate who goes home each week, the list is actually giving the same thing as what we have. Like for example, um, Yesterday, we had bottom three. We had Willie, Mpumi, and Sinai. As you can see, this is it here. Previous, um, what is it called? Previous week, those, um, the pool has been showing this. And now, people are like, Mark Jr. topped this week as they shared it, you know. So, now that you know the six nominated housemates of week nine, please let us know which housemates you are voting for by participating in the online voting pool below so um uh, people are actually sharing it they are like in as much as um there is this clamor for votes on mark jr at the same time he he actually do like when they say do that he really really has a big fan base out there who are rooting for him 
you know, as some um, get updated with my with your reality said, do with it, do with this as you wish. Lilies, you know who to rally for. Good luck to all the contenders, you know. So people seeing this, they are like, how did this boy just get up there? And then Pablo said, MC Junior's fan base cares me so much. They vote in silence. Top chat in silence. That's insane. You know, the thing is, I, I, for one, I cannot just wait for this season to be over. And then let's see this voting pool from the first week till now. He is very big on TikTok. Okay, honestly, most Mark Jr. fans are on Facebook and TikTok. So yeah, a lot of them are voting plus one housemate that I know who has the numbers. I saw, okay, I don't know that name, pushing him on Facebook, other content accounts on Facebook. Truly, jokes apart, in as much as we are rallying, people are rallying with all these Lema fans vote him and all of that. I think it's just a tip on the iceberg because he has his own fan. Meanwhile, I mean his fan base. Meanwhile, as usual, some people are trying to discredit him. As um Gloria said, what exactly is MC Junior still doing in that house? No talent, no content, rubbish. If you notice something, you would see Makeke and MC Junior actually going through the same thing. People are trying to discredit them because they think they see them at the top. And then Taylor said, I just realized that MC Junior doesn't have a game. He is the most boring housemate ever. People are voting for him because he stood up. His daddy stood up against Papa Ghost. They are voting to spite Ghost. And then this person replied and said, MC Junior is a goat. In case you didn't know, MC Junior is loved because he doesn't take shit from anyone. And then this, the reply says, prove that my point. I will pick MC Junior over Papa Ghost even in the next decade. Good for you, you fan of him. Hmm, that name though. We liked him before the fight because he is awkward. Lurking in darkness, he represents misunderstood and unpopular people. We will keep voting and take him to top three. Something Ghost can only dream. Hmm. Now, one thing I've noticed right now is um, the Papa Ghost fan base. You people are busy coming for Makeke and Mac Jr. on this final week. I will tell you guys this thing for free. Hmm? This final week is not the time to actually start, you know, insulting, coming for people and all of that. This is the time you should go hard for your fave. You know, go very hard for your fave because you never can tell. You really never can tell who the winner of this season is. Okay, moving on, coming from Hills, BB Nzanzi Handler is trying to pack their last clout with Liema. Three posts in one night when she isn't the winner, they know they lost numbers. Okay, if Show Max SA or DSTV Nzanzi doesn't give Liema a, a reality show, then they don't know good business. Show Max or Nzanzi Magic better starts shooting this babe's reality TV show ASAP. So after Liema left the stage yesterday, the kind of um, crowd she gathered and how people were so thirsty to see her for the very last time on stage and then people were like telling show marks that see oh this girl you guys need to actually make her get a reality show we need a keeping up with Liema show her life is so chaotic and they did tag show marks you know don't sleep wake up please if you're seeing the comment tell Liema to carry her check along on Sunday and put on a crown it's something she's probably thinking of doing show me I mean okay this was this one was before she appeared on stage, you know, but at the same time, they started reminding showmas that Liema needs a reality show. And then this person said, there is no price I wouldn't pay to watch Liema on my screen. I could watch her 247 without being bored. Please, please show me we need her on our screen. And then Shoma South Africa replied, said, exactly when I show me, Liema brings so much to the screen, doesn't she? We would definitely share your enthusiasm with our content team. Who knows? Maybe we will see more of her soon. Stay tuned. So it is possible that you guys might be having more of Liema. You know, depending on how the moves is going, you know. Okay, all right, let's continue. Coming from Marissa. That Liema babe is actually trending at number one in Nigeria. Crazy shit. Can we talk about Liema Handler, guys? She did such an amazing job, Senna, and she always kept it professional and was all about Liema only. Even when it was tough, she held it down till now. I hope we get a Handler review soon. No, 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 no jokes. Liema's Handler did well. Meanwhile, guys, this is one thing I do not like. 
you know when it comes to ship thingy and be, I be like you people are you people are flying in my keke's voice I see the vision it is getting very clear speak to me Lord I am listening they actually went to bring up um old tweets of um what's this boy's name Tabang no sorry old tweets of Liema who said you guys should vote my boyfriend for me during the BB Titan season and do not forget it was this same Liema that had to you know say some things about Kosi then that people were coming for her meaning that the reason why she was saying some things about Kosi was because she liked Tabang it is just getting <laughs> It is just getting clear right now. So that means the reason why Liema was attacking Kosi during the Titan season was because she liked Tabang and then Tabang and Kosi were cool in the house. Interesting, Liema. Not be today your eyes don't they go for boys. So. <laughs> Meanwhile, on a more serious note, Liema stands, you guys should focus. You guys should really focus and avoid anything unnecessary shipping. Okay? You guys like shipping Liema. You want her life to revolve around men. When are you going to teach her that it is okay to be alone until the right one comes along? Season finale and Liema Pansy. Didn't notice she has a tattoo. Does Liema have a tattoo? Does she have a tattoo? Because I did not see one in the house. You are a real Delulu. And that is what so many people are on these baby streets. Coming from CC. So Lee was always cooking with Papi from the third week and she's acting like Jared was the only one cooking on the other girls. Papi said the kiss three times, one in the shower, shower, the second in the toilet, the third one in the closet area while Leratu saw them and told Z. Guys, it happened that was her name again, Liema, has actually been cooking in the house so people were actually bringing this out because after this um her final interview yesterday she said she has nothing for jared and then the fans were trending it and be like thank god though our faith said bye bye to jared then the jared fans actually now brought the interview young papi had where he said he actually has been kissing liema that that kiss was not the first one that it was actually the third one so people are like nobody should even blame jared for anything and I, from the onset, have been saying it. Jared is not to be blamed because that boy did not hide anything from the female he was dealing with. But all this drag on Liam has started recently because of she did mention that she has nothing for Jared, like no feelings at all for him. Meanwhile, this is young papi saying, Le para ha le fella moya really fred. The journey continues, ma mfanak. You know, young papi and um really we're quite close. Meanwhile, young Papi and Willie should count themselves lucky. They are amongst the people that are lucky in that house. That, like, they actually got so far in the game. They were so lucky. Willie really hates Z. It is all clear now. Why from the onset, he didn't save Z with his veto. Z will shine this week. It is her week. No one can stop her. So the Z fans are actually trending. This. They said that Willie did not like Z. That he only tried coming around Z. But he is a wolf in a sheep clothing because um remember the dagger thing in trending as Liema said he wants she wants Mark Jr. to shine. You know, then Willie now came back to say he wants Mpumi to shine. So people were like, why did he not do it to Z so that Z would shine? I'm like, fans, why are you guys like this? These people barely gave their reason. But you guys are the only one that will make your faith shine, no matter how. So why is Daga now being something that people really are struggling for? They really want it by fire, by force. <laughs> Wahala be like bicycle, guys. Oh. Anyways, me, I'll be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.